Hello dear friends and welcome back to my cottage. My name is Crystal and I'm so excited that you guys decided to join me today for my midsummer home tour. I'm super excited about this video because we have taken on several renovations and DIY projects and I cannot wait to share those with you guys. They have completely transformed our space here in our cottage and I believe after watching today's video, you're gonna be inspired to tackle some of these projects for yourself and create this look in your very own home. So please watch the entirety of the video so that you can get some budget-friendly ideas for cute little renovations to completely transform your space. Now, I'm also excited about today's video because I get to share with you guys the theme of my home for this summer, and that is the French bumblebee. So I just, I love bees. I think they are amazing little creatures that God created. They get to live amongst the flowers all day long, and then they get to fly back to their hives and their homes and be with their family. And then they all work together to create delicious honey. And honey is medicinal and it's so good for us. And I just love the busyness and the work ethic of the bees. And I think there's a lot that could just be shared about their story and how God has kind of designed us the same way and to just thrive in community together and dwell together and work together. So I'm excited about the renovations. I'm excited about the decor. And I just cannot wait for you guys to join me. I'm also going to be showing you guys how I make my favorite cup of tea for the summertime. So let's get into today's video. All right, friends, we're going to start by boiling some water in our kettle for our tea. And while that is heating up, we're going to head outside to my cottage gardens and we're going to clip some beautiful flowers that I've grown and we're going to create a beautiful bouquet for the kitchen. Now that our water is hot, we are just gonna add this to my cute little bumblebee coffee mug. And I'm using the Twinnings brand lemon ginger tea. And then I'm gonna add some honey into that and some stevia packets. And then I'm also gonna stir it with this cute little honey stick and the honey will melt into my tea. Look at all of these beautiful flowers from my gardens. So we're going to start off in the entryway, which is where I like to start all of my home tours, just like you're walking into my front door. have my water fountain flowing and going and it's so beautiful. I just love the tranquility and the sound of this when you walk into my front door. And then of course I have my little wicker purse hanging here with some hydrangeas. And this just screams summertime to me and being able to just go out and pick flowers. I have some tulips here and of course the star of the show, our little bumblebee. And then here are some cute little ducks. My daughter is in love with ducks. So I've incorporated those little guys around the house as well. This cute little beehive, I created that and I'll be talking more about that later on in the video. Alright, and since it's a home tour, I'm going to take you guys upstairs to my upstairs landing and just show you around up here. Um, all of our bedrooms are up here. We also have three bathrooms up here. 
Um, so there's four bedrooms, three bathrooms upstairs, and then one bedroom and our half guest bath downstairs. And I just keep this decorated fairly simple. And then I also keep some of our family photos on um, the landing up here. And I just love these photos uh, of us with all of our children. And I also love the wooden frames that they are encaged in. And then this scripture is kind of our family motto here for our home. And uh, this was actually made and gifted to me and it is something that I will always treasure. And we're missing one little guy from the photo and that's a Kel, but that was made before he came into our lives. Next, we're walking through the hallway uh, from our entryway. The bathroom is there on the right. We will come back to that, but we're going to go into my fireside room first. So you guys asked in a previous video to actually see the layout of my home. So as I transition into each room, I'm going to try to show you guys where I'm walking and where I'm going so that you can kind of see the full layout of my home. Now on this tour, I'm only going to be showing you guys the main floor. We do have upstairs and then we also have a whole downstairs. So our home is three stories. The bedrooms are not completely finished upstairs and our downstairs is completely gutted. We have a theater room down there and a game room. So we're excited to hopefully soon share those projects with you guys as well. So you can see all of my French bumblebee decor that I have out. I incorporated a lot of the bee decor through pillows. And I have uh, told you guys before that I love changing out my pillow covers uh, for each holiday and for each season. And it really is a cheap, effective way to bring that decor in and to change it up. And I'm also loving just the pops of yellow and the honey colors that the bumblebees are also bringing into my home for summertime. So my home is very neutral, but I love to decorate with color. So decorating with this yellow color just reminds me of being joyful and uh, happiness and just all of those emotions that we feel with summertime. This cute little stone pot, I got that at Goodwill for $10. It's so heavy and I love the wicker rope that the handles are wrapped in. So that was a cute little find. And then here on my coffee table, I've added some Cosmos in with my lavender and of course my darling little duckies here uh, with a candle. And this just makes the cutest, most perfect centerpiece. My daughter named these ducks Donald and Daisy. And next is my favorite DIY project that I want to share with you guys. And that is this beautiful painting that is above our fireplace mantle. Oh wait, is that a painting? I don't think it is. That's actually our TV. So we created the frame TV look around our TV. My husband did such a great job on this project. He built the frame and then I painted it to give it a vintage cottage look. I'm so thrilled with how this turned out. It completely transformed our space.
We will have a YouTube video soon on how we created this step-by-step. -step. Uh, normally, these frame TVs cost over $1,000. We created a frame TV of our own for under $60. And the great thing is that we can change out the art anytime we want on the YouTube Art TV app. I've always wanted a beautiful, ornate, vintage looking painting hanging over my fireplace. But we have to put our TV here because our fireside room is not that big. So this way I get my beautiful uh, French kind of feeling painting that I've always wanted. And we still have the TV as well. So it's multifunctional, it's decorative, and it's just absolutely beautiful. So more to come on that. Now, these cute little beehives I showed you in the beginning in our entryway, I made these. Um, and they were fairly simple to make. I think um, it cost me under $20 to make several of these. I have a video on my Instagram channel at Coddle Cottage underscore 737 and I will tell you step by step how I created these cute little bee skeps or beehives and they just added uh, the perfect touch to my bumblebee decor. All right, friends, next we're going into my kitchen. So my kitchen is just right off of my fireside room and it's kind of in the center of our home. So we have our beautiful fresh picked flowers from the garden that you saw me clip in the beginning of the video. And I've clipped these and just kind of letting them sit there and dry before I put them into a beautiful arrangement. And then this is just something I keep on my counter all year round. You guys have seen this in previous videos of things that I use every day to cook. And then this beautiful little cutting board, I actually stenciled those French bees on with some white paint. And I have a video on how I stenciled that in some of my previous YouTube videos. So you can go back and check out that DIY craft project as well. This cute little arrangement here I made with a stone pot, some Cosmos, and some old rolling pins. I love having my rolling pins displayed here, especially because I bake and I cook a lot. Uh, so rolling pins are just so cute and they're very functional for me. And then on top of my fridge, I have a picnic basket and I just like incorporating flowers up there and then just having them flow over the side. Next, we're moving on to our coffee bar. So this area is also another DIY project that we did and another small renovation. Um, so here where this wooden wall is, used to be a black chalkboard with some very out of place electrical outlets. You guys have probably seen those in previous videos. Um, this is the before, this is what it looked like before. So my husband removed those electrical outlets and rerouted them and built me this beautiful wooden wall. You can check that out on my Instagram as well. And then there are those cute little honey stirs for your tea and your coffee that put honey um, into your hot drinks. I just love having them and they went with my decor so perfectly. And then there is my lemon ginger tea that I'm still sipping on throughout this video. And of course my cute little bumblebee mugs. Now friends, if you're wondering where my decor is from or if there's something you see that you would like to have in your own home, I will have links in the description below. 
But if there's something that you don't see a link for, please just ask me in the comments. I would love to talk more about my decor, my renovations, and where you guys can purchase the same things from. And then this is just an old music cabinet that I turned into a French country potato bin. So my, my sweet potatoes and my regular potatoes stay in this cute little old music cabinet that I refurbished. Next, we're moving on to my French cafe, and this is just right off of our kitchen. And you've probably already seen in the center of my little dining table here that I have a cute little bumblebee candle. It is made from natural beeswax. I love it. And then those cute little bees came with it, and I just kind of repainted those. And then, of course, my uh, bouquet of Cosmos that I'm using throughout my home for summertime. And then of course, this is my tea bar and I usually just keep it decorated with all things tea. So this is mostly for decorational purposes, but it's also very functional for when I have guests and uh, we wanna share a cup of hot tea or a cup of cold tea. And of course that tea bar, the credenza that it sits on, and this table here were Facebook Marketplace finds that I repainted. So from the French Cafe, we're going to be walking into the dining room. So in the dining room, I wanted to actually kind of decorate and set up my table for summer. So I started doing that by laying out a honey colored golden cheesecloth. So I just took that cheesecloth and I laid it down the center of the table. And then um, I put out my French dishes. These plates or bowls are actually from Goodwill. I purchased these for 99 cents a piece. And they're just so beautiful, so heavy. Um, and they just really look like uh, dishes that cost quite a bit of money. But because I'm doing a French bumblebee theme in my home, I wanted to put out my French bowls um, just to kind of go with that French bumblebee decor. I tried to keep my table pretty simple because we have a lot of children so it's not functional to always have the table set and pretty. And when I do, I like to keep it to where we can still sit at the table without my children breaking things. Um, so this tablescape actually works perfect for summertime. It's light, it's airy. And then of course it has those beautiful honey and golden yellow colors for my bumblebee decor. And then of course, I've shared with you guys in previous videos that this China Hutch uh, was a find from a rental house that my husband was working on and I repainted that. And then our dining room table, my husband actually built that. And then those chairs uh, were just repainted and refurbished. So now we're going back through the entryway and to our guest bathroom that I told you guys about earlier. So I did not change much in the guest bathroom other than putting uh, some bumblebee decor in here and some of those golden yellow colors. I also added some uh, lemon soap in here 
and you will see that in a minute and when you walk into the bathroom you just get a huge whiff of lemon and it smells so good and this cute little soap is called lemon grove and I mostly purchased it because it smells like lemons but because of the cute purple flowers that it had and it went so well with my lavender bouquet that I have sitting on the sink here I just love cute little soaps. And then here is my little French bathtub and these are the little lemon soaps that I was telling you guys about. This one is lemon and almond and I love that it has the little royal wax stamp there. I thought that was very cute and Frenchy. And then this purple lavender soap um, is a French bar of soap and then these little um, bars here are actual soap bars but they are in the shape of lemons and they smell like lemon and this is what just smells up the whole bathroom when you step inside. All right next we're going to go back through the living room I'm distracted by my uh, TV art once again. It, uh, it changes every few minutes with the setting I have it on. So I wanted to show you guys that. But focus, we're going to walk through my fireside room now. And we're going to walk in through this little door here that you guys usually see closed. And this here is our laundry room. So I have a video on my YouTube of how we renovated this laundry room and you guys can go back and check that out as well. It looks completely different uh, than from when we moved in. So hopefully you guys can gain some inspiration for that video. All of these shelves my husband built himself. We laid new flooring. Um, we put up a new accent wall, brick accent wall. And this room just really turned out so great. And then our um, entryway inside the house is also through a door off of our laundry room that goes out into our garage. So I won't take you guys out there today, but you can also come into our house through the laundry room. And this is where we usually come in with the children so that we can take shoes off, coats, and all of that stuff. Kind of serves as a mudroom. Next, we're going to our music room. So the music room is right off of our dining room. If you guys have been following me for very long, you know that my music room is one of my most cherished rooms because I love spending time in here. Um, I do play the piano. I love to write music and write songs. Um, and I just love coming in here to be creative. So this record player, it's a fairly newer purchase of mine that I got from Facebook Marketplace. And then I just repainted it. Pretty much every piece of furniture in my music room is secondhand from Facebook Marketplace. And then I just bought it, refurbished it, repainted it, and uh, just, just made it my own to fit into this room and into this space. And then this beautiful French winged back chair. I also purchased that off of Facebook Marketplace. And I just think it's such a beautiful piece sitting here in front of the window with the sun shining on it.
then I love that beautiful stone French pot with flowers hanging out of it. I am such a sucker for stone pots. And then uh, this bird's nest I found on the ground outside that had fallen out of a tree. So I use it for decor and I just think it's so pretty. Now this cute little uh, tray here, I created that also. Again, it is in a previous YouTube video um, and it is titled Creating uh, Centerpieces and uh, Tablescapes. So you guys can go back and watch that. And then I also created uh, this cute little um, stone pot of peonies as well. And then of course I brought my French bumblebee decor into this room as well, again using pillows. So instead of the bright pops of yellow in here, I decided to stay with uh, the softer pink colors just because this is kind of my space. Uh, so I like to keep it neutral and keep more pastel pinks and purples and things like that in here. So I decided to make this room more flowery, which also went along with my bumblebee decor. And again, I will be posting links in the comments um, for some of my decor in this room. And again, if there is something you see that you like that I do not have linked, please let me know and I'll be happy to tell you where I purchased it from. And then you guys also, please go follow me on Instagram. I post things there daily for inspiration. And then I wanted to show you guys the outside of my home. We got a new roof this summer. So I wanted to show you my beautiful new roof. It was kind of an orangey brown color before. And now it just really makes our home look crisp and clean and newer. Thank you so much, friends, for stopping by and walking through my home with me today. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16-18